They spent a miserable day in this lonely and unpleasant country. Their camping place was damp, cold, and uncomfortable, and the biting insects would not let them sleep. There were also abominable creatures haunting the reeds and tussocks that, from the sound of them, were evil relatives of the cricket. There were thousands of them, and they squeaked all around. Eek, bree, bree, eek, unceasingly all the night until the hobbits were nearly frantic. The next day, the fourth, was a little better, and the night almost as comfortless. Though the Neeker Breakers, as Sam called them, had been left behind, the midges still pursued them. As Frodo lay, tired but unable to close his eyes, it seemed to him that far away there came a light in the eastern sky. It flashed and faded many times. It was not the dawn, for that was still some hours off. What is that light? He said to Strider, who had risen and was standing, gazing ahead into the night. I do not know, Strider answered. It is too distant to make out. It is like lightning that leaps up from the hilltops. Frodo lay down again, but for a long while he could still see the white flashes, and against them the tall, dark figure of Strider, standing silent and watchful. At last, he passed into an uneasy sleep.